uh, originally from Poland, uh, but uh, I live uh, for a long time, uh, already 14 years uh, in Amsterdam, uh, where I feel my home. And uh, yeah, with uh, Edita we teach uh, Tantra. Um, I teach also Kundalini Yoga. Um, Tantra is our passion, um, and. Uh, it's a so important, beautiful thing uh, what I experienced in my life, so I started to teach uh, other people. Can you tell us um, what Tantra is for you? How would you describe Tantra to people who have never tried it? Tantra has uh, probably so many meanings uh, as many people are connected uh, to it. Everybody experiences it uh, in its own way. Uh, for me, it is uh, connecting uh, the spirituality with sexuality and uh, finding the balance between uh, all aspects of uh, our self, our life, uh, so uh, balancing the female and male energy, what is important, uh, but also uh, other things like uh, uh, inner self, uh, uh, out, uh, outside world, um, uh, active side, uh, unactive side, uh, so, so it's uh, balancing it all, uh, acknowledging all uh, of the things uh, and uh, um, finding the balance between. Uh, it's like uh, yin and yang energy, moon and sun, uh, female, male. So it's uh, acknowledging uh, within us all those energies and uh, balancing them. It's also um, acknowledging uh, and respecting all aspects uh, of uh, ourselves, uh, all emotions uh, um, like um, anger, fear, um, um, sexuality, excitement. These are human things. Uh, what Tantra is working with, uh, it's uh, not uh, uh, denying them, not uh, pushing uh, away, but uh, acknowledging and uh, uh, Finding the way how to live with those emotions and use them in a good way. If, uh, for example, we uh, used uh, anger uh, with uh, our love. Uh, that um, yeah, we can um, uh, protect uh, our child. For example, uh, we used sexuality to uh, bring our very powerful sexual energy up to our higher parts of our body and that's a um, um, very important aspect of Tantra and that's what uh, um, we are teaching uh, a lot uh, on our workshops. Uh, from the physical uh, and uh, maybe sexual uh, point, uh, Tantra is uh, transforming a typical uh, sexual act, uh, what uh, is uh, ended uh, with uh, losing a lot of energy uh, with uh, very often frustration, um, very often um, disappointments uh, to a beautiful uh, sexual act of love uh, what uh, is uh, ended when we like it to end and when uh, and we get a lot of energy from it uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, bliss. It's, um, yeah, there is no words to uh, uh, express uh, the beauty what Tantra can give us. We are at the Rainbow Gathering. You've been teaching Tantra here for how much time? Well, I don't know. I think almost three weeks. Uh, wow. Every day, sometimes uh, two workshops, sometimes no workshop, but <laughs> most of the time there was. Uh, and uh, yeah. Um, Every day, three, four hours at least, uh, but it was wonderful. What is teaching Tantra giving you? Um, it's uh, giving me um, satisfaction, a lot of satisfaction from uh, that uh, I do something what I feel to do and uh, what is very important. Uh, uh, it's um, how I feel uh, love is uh, the biggest power of the universe uh, and uh, um, sexual act is one of the most intimate, most uh, close, uh, most beautiful, uh, most powerful expression of love uh, and 
yeah, teaching uh, those things uh, can bring a lot of love uh, in the world, uh, can bring a lot of love uh, within the relationship, uh, in families, can sort out uh, so many problems. Uh, what uh, humanity is facing now. It brings connectedness, uh, connecting uh, not only to our partners, but further uh, we connect uh, um, to all universe, uh, other people, uh, animals, plants. Uh, we are so connected that we starting to taking care for all those things. Uh, so, um, sharing uh, this knowledge, uh, it's one of the way of uh, my activism. Uh, I am uh, a squatter since uh, um, 15 years, uh, since I started to uh, see the things and uh, start to uh, think critical. I started to be active uh, on all different uh, fields. Uh, I'm still uh, active. Uh, um, so uh, when I experienced Tantra and when I uh, uh, know already um, so much about Tantra, uh, it uh, um, made me thinking that this is uh, one of the uh, most powerful um, Think to empower people, to liberate people, to make them free, to uh, make them thinking, to open their consciousness. Uh, so this is uh, um, one of the most active uh, part of uh, my activism, what uh, I ever did. You mentioned yeah, a couple of times that you are an activist. Do you think that Tantra is political? Definitely. It's, um, Tantra, like uh, all other... Uh, and spiritual or philo philosophical path uh, what uh, brings uh, us uh, uh, to liberation it's uh, very political and because uh, Tantra is uh, uh, according to me one of the most powerful um, um, spiritual path uh, it's very political that's why uh, um, very often before uh, people uh, tantricas and ta uh, tantric teachers were killed by uh, reli uh, religions killed by uh, governments uh, because uh, when uh, people get free when people get uh, to truly love themselves they would uh, never uh, let someone to rule over them and they would uh, never uh, uh, follow uh, some rules uh, what uh, not coming from their heart uh, so if someone feel loves if someone uh, uh, feels um, good about themselves uh, they would uh, not need any ruler above above them uh, they would uh, um, also um, if someone feel love uh, <laughs> It's beginning to uh, see the things what uh, before uh, he or she didn't see, like uh, uh, when people go on the spiritual path, uh, uh, very often they become uh, vegetarian or vegan uh, because uh, they uh, suddenly see that uh, the animals suffering, that uh, there is uh, world hunger uh, caused by a meat industry. So uh, they start to caring, uh, they uh, feel connected to the trees, to the planet, to the nature. Uh, so uh, when they are connected, they uh, feel compassion. It's hurting them if uh, the Mother Earth is uh, killed. So, so, so it opens eyes and consciousness, so it's very political. Can you tell us a bit more about the different benefits of practicing Tantra? So, uh, how I said, uh, free your mind, uh, that's one of the benefits. But uh, you have also a lot of benefit uh, for health. Uh, um, it uh, tremendously uh, improve your health. Uh, people who um, are um, um, experiencing Tantra, who practicing Tantra, um, very often look uh, much younger than uh, the others uh, and uh, they're surprising uh, what age they are 
so that's one of the benefits. Uh, um, of course, uh, it can heal relationships. Uh, it can uh, uh, heal a relationship within you, loving yourself, but also it can heal a relationship uh, between uh, two partners. Uh, uh, people who um, are uh, uh, practicing Tantra also are uh, more loving parents. Uh, they, they, they are full of love and uh, that's also like when you uh, are full of love you are also healthy and you, you uh, live uh, longer, young. Uh, you, uh, I feel my, all, all the time myself uh, as a uh, sometimes uh, 18 years old boy uh, <laughs> Who is full of energy and power and uh, people sometimes uh, asking me uh, where you get this uh, energy from and that's uh, yeah that's the also what gives tantra you know you don't lose energy so you get energy and then yeah you are all the time young and uh, energetic that's another benefit of uh, practicing tantra you mentioned that people are often asking you how you stay so healthy and energetic and, and charged but how do they react when when you tell them that you're practicing tantra is it um is it a positive reaction or have you had some uh, negative experiences um mainly uh, positive uh, funny reactions like people who are saying oh wow <laughs> Oh, uh, sometimes uh, the uh, especially girls are making jokes like, "Oh wow, uh, um, maybe uh, we should meet together or something." <laughs> you know, like this, uh, 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 mainly like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, tantra is getting more and more popular uh, and uh, recognized uh, in the uh, Western world. Uh, it's coming back uh, uh, to the West, so uh, people um, uh, feeling more respect uh, to uh, that. And so before it was a bit, uh, it's still a bit like uh, um, when you go more to less uh, open-minded uh, parts of society or parts of uh, the world. Uh, when you say Tantra, uh, they can uh, think, oh, uh, uh, some... Uh, uh, sexual maniac or something, uh, but uh, it's um, uh, more and more uh, this positive uh, reaction now. Many of uh, the people who would listen uh, to this video and, and watch you talking about Tantra might be interested whether there are any side effects or any negative aspects of practicing Tantra. Can you name a few? Um, yes. Uh, uh, there could be, um, if you uh, do not practice uh, correctly uh, and so, that uh, you can get uh, uh, into some, uh, um, if you don't transfer, for example, uh, uh, enough energy upwards. Uh, it happens that uh, uh, men got uh, the pain in the bollocks uh, from uh, retention of uh, sperm. Uh, from uh, yeah, um, probably sleepless nights, <laughs> 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 but, uh, they may get uh, give you energy, but uh, also uh, I don't. Uh, for me, maybe it's not a side effect, but uh, uh, tantra is confronting your uh, yourself with your uh, truth, truth, very deep truth. So uh, it may happen that uh, um, will. Um, uh, bring you to realization that, um, for example, uh, relationship what you are in, uh, it's uh, not for you. That uh, uh, it can bring to realization that uh, uh, you go two different paths, uh, and uh, uh, there is no way to connect it. Uh, and uh, uh, tantra is confronting you with that. That's. A, a, a just simple example how it may happen. Uh, usually, tantra brings people together, but I'm saying what side effect can happen. Um, I, I would not say that this is side effect because uh, it's better to uh, go uh, your own path and uh, be truthful to yourself than uh, staying in a relationship what you are not happy and what. Uh, 
uh, would never make you happy. So, uh, but uh, for some people could be uh, that's considered as a side effect. The same uh, thing um, also uh, uh, Tantra can bring you uh, to the realization that the work what you uh, are busy with uh, doesn't uh, fulfill your uh, happiness uh, and suddenly you could uh, um, say uh, okay I don't want this work anymore uh, I uh, would rather to be on unemployment than uh, uh, to keep that working uh, what is uh, only for money but doesn't give me satisfaction so that that could be also side effect. Uh, for me, it was uh, it happened to me like that. Um, um, uh, last year, I felt uh, okay. Uh, I teach tantra, I teach yoga, so uh, I like to uh, be busy only with that. I, uh, even I had okay work. Uh, it was not my passion, so I decided to quit my work. Uh, to cut off my expenses to uh, go truly in my path and it was uh, difficult at the beginning but uh, I'm happy that I stayed and I'm happy that uh, uh, I'm doing uh, something uh, what is my passion uh, so that's that's what uh, Tantra does confront you with the truth and sometimes uh, can bring you to very unrational decisions uh, but uh, those decisions uh, are uh, from your heart. So, uh, however, it would be, it could be difficult, maybe sometimes. But uh, you would be happy that you stayed with your truth. Um, mm -hmm. But by other people, could be considered as a side effect. So. <laughs> wow, that's amazing! I just wanted to ask you something else that popped up into my mind. Um, as you mentioned earlier, um, you've been teaching Tantra like every day, twice, uh, twice per day, having sessions with so many people and, and showing different techniques with your partner. Isn't that too exhausting sometimes? How do you maintain this, this high sexual energy? I've been to some of your workshops and for me, as much as I, I, I I've thought that, that I'm sexual, it, it's been difficult. Um, the, yeah, that's, the secret is if we make beautiful love in the morning, uh, we keep energy for all day. But mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, it, it, it didn't happen uh, always. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, uh, the satisfaction from teachings uh, also give us a lot of energy and uh, you know, like some, uh, this is passion, and with the passion, you can go uh, uh, with it. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we uh, work with energies. We uh, try to keep it up, and so so it's uh, um, yeah, that's that's the way to go with tantra. That you go with your passion, and uh, your passion gives you also energy. Um, you make love that. Uh, it brings you a lot of energy. Of course, uh, some of the workshops uh, were more uh, difficult because uh, we went uh, very deep uh, into the people's processes uh, and uh, sometimes uh, we had to also uh, take care afterwards. Uh, people were coming uh, uh, after and asking us questions. So uh, sometimes uh, we didn't have time for uh, uh, simple things uh, like uh, going uh, just normal drinking tea and uh, uh, be busy with nothing but uh, uh, we don't regret that it uh, uh, was a lovely time full of satisfaction and uh, it gave us a lot of energy uh, and uh, um, also, like um, so many people are uh, uh, smiling more, uh, and uh, they are thanking us uh, so lovely that, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It also gives us a lot of energy and motivation to uh, do the things um, how we do, and um, it's uh, we choose that way, and that's. Um, 
with a destiny and uh, call, call out mm -hmm. to do uh, the uh, part of uh, on this world it's like some of the people uh, you could see they were uh, work uh, almost every day in the kitchen they did great job and because they love to do that I'm very thankful for them and I understand uh, how they could. After this lovely interview, I want to ask you if you would like to share your future plans, maybe some events that you're organizing. You said that you're living in Amsterdam. And anything that you would like to share with us, anything that we didn't touch upon but you would like to, to mention? Our future plans, uh, that's... Uh, yeah, uh, we are uh, on holidays uh, here. Uh, we uh, continue the uh, next uh, uh, and beginning uh, of uh, basic school of Tantra, uh, what we established uh, in Amsterdam uh, last uh, school year. And this, uh, from September, we begin the next uh, school year. And uh, uh, so we will do the course uh, of um, maybe seven, maybe ten uh, days. Uh, what, um, yeah, would go uh, into deep uh, uh, practice, uh, a little bit of theory uh, and so on, uh, but a lot of practice on all different uh, levels of Tantra. Um, then uh, we also plan uh, to do the same, but uh, as a crash co course. Uh, so um, it would be uh, combined in maybe uh, one week or ten days uh, every day. Uh, and we plan also um, uh, find uh, the time between uh, to uh, to uh, give the weekends uh, workshops. Uh, so uh, in the meantime uh, we also uh, we are pretty flexible uh, we also uh, teach people people privately we try to reach uh, all the people all the uh, people with different uh, possibilities uh, with the time and opportunities uh, so um, we teach also private people uh, so that's uh, about uh, the plans. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, probably we will uh, start uh, in October. Uh, this all is uh, will start in September. Uh, in October, we will start probably be more busy with uh, uh, massage uh, course, uh, tantra massage uh, course. After we heard about your future plans, uh, it seems like you have a really intense months to follow um, would you like to share something else something that you might not have said but do you think is important is important yeah I would um, like that um, the love will spread now is the time when the our planet our humanity needs solutions and love is the biggest solution, the most powerful. Uh, our sexuality, it's uh, one of the biggest power what uh, people are able to use. So learn about this power, share this power, share love, and uh, use love to, to love more and to yeah, I would like that um, also all the people who we teach uh, will uh, uh, not uh, only go after and uh, forget about the workshops but um, will use that and would practice because uh, the practice is uh, very important to go on uh, you can do Tantra from uh, workshop to workshop uh, but uh, um, if you like to go high you have to make love in the tantric way every time try new things experience new things thank you so much for everything that you shared with us and we
wish you to just follow this amazing path and create such amazing opportunities for people to, to develop and to learn and to grow and to love. Thank you so much once again, Michal. Thank you for the interview.